Hey, what is up you guys? It is Ivorverse and welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm going to be answering the most asked questions that I'm getting on a daily basis which usually are like, what platform are you on? What kind of tablet you're using? What kind of microphone you're using? What do you use to record your gameplay? And stuff like that is going to be answered in this video. The answers to those will also be in the video description. So from this point on forward, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to be placing that in every single video description of every single video, whether it be Clash of Clans, Knights and Dragons or Boom Beach, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be down there. So if you see anyone out there who's going to be answering that question, make sure you either reply with the root sandstorm or reply with check out the video description so that way you actually help out the person okay so that being said i also have another thing that i want to be addressing so let's address that one first some of you guys uh have one setting in google play which doesn't allow me to reply on your videos or i'm not on your videos but on your comments and it really kind of sucks the only thing that i can do is is leave a thumbs up and uh, or thumbs down but i cannot reply there and that is because you guys have a, a setting in google play which will be linked in the video description uh disabled and that is who can comment on your public post and that's most likely set to only my friends in my circles on google on google play uh, but that also reflects to YouTube because Google Play is essentially a part of YouTube. So all of your accounts that you've been making through YouTube are connected to Google Play as well. So make sure to keep that in mind. Make sure to fix that. It is the second line. It is called who can comment on your public post. You can also go to plus.google.com slash settings and check it out there. If you're logged onto YouTube, you'll be able to find it. And that way I'm able to actually com comment on your comments which would be pretty awesome so that being said let's jump into my gaming gear my recording gear and on a couple of these i'm actually gonna go pretty in depth with why i decided to go with that for example the microphone so let's just jump straight into this so for my microphone microphone was a thing that i needed to consider for a long time before i made my final decision because i didn't want to jump onto something that was going to be investing money in which i wasn't certain of whether or not i'm going to be liking it so i did a lot of research watched a lot of reviews and ultimately started using the sl300 usb condenser microphone from editor's keys and i'm gonna tell you why i decided to go uh, with this one over a snowball or a blue yeti because you guys are mostly familiar with the blue yeti especially youtubers out there and i'm gonna tell you guys why i feel the sl300 from editor's keys is a lot better than the blue yeti you see the blue yeti literally picks up every single sound around the house whether it be someone walking up the stairs someone playing outside whether it's a police car uh route like making his round around the street or just simply a fan in your room the blue yeti will definitely pick it up and you will have to do a lot of editing on your voice in order to optimize it but the problem with that is if you're going to be starting to uh edit your your voice recording the quality of the uh of the audio is gonna go down and that really kind of sucks and i wanted to prevent that and because I live in a pretty noisy environment, I decided to go with the SL300 from Editor's Keys. The reason why this microphone is so good is because everything under 200 Hz, the 200 Hz frequency, gets muted out, gets filtered out. So that means that anything like a, a fan or, or a door or stuff like that uh, doesn't get picked up that badly as a Blue Yeti does. So that was my decision on this. I really love this microphone. It comes with a, a shock mount. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. I'm not going to go too much in depth with this. But the uh, overall display of the microphone feels um, really awesome and professional. And the light is simply awesome on the microphone as well. Uh, the settings that I'm using is usually the decibel, like minus 10 which really is awesome so um, i'm actually gonna show you guys right now or test it out right now so right now i'm actually having the other setting enabled i think i'm not entirely sure if it's working but it's minus 10 decibel and i can see it in the recording the sound is way lower than it was before so let's just turn it up again and that way you guys are able to hear me clearly again so sl300 of uh, of editor skis was my pick on the microphone next up is my tablet so for me the tablet really was a no-brainer because i won the tablet like i didn't have a tablet like okay let me put it this way before i started doing app games and stuff like that i felt that a tablet was pretty unnecessary because i only had the idea that it was only for reading books and stuff and browsing the internet and i was like i already got a laptop 
and my cell phone, why would I need a tablet? But then I won one, and the story behind that is actually quite funny, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So, um, on this very fateful day, one year and three months ago or so, I uh, was actually playing a couple of tabletop games with my friends at the local game store. And then I realized that on the KitKat packages that my friends were eating, I noticed that you had the ability to win Google Play cards. And I was like, hey, that's pretty sweet because that way I can actually download some apps on my phone for free and stuff like that. And there was also the action that you actually had the chance of winning the uh, Nexus 7 tablet. So I was like, okay, um, I literally gathered over 100 packages from my friends who weren't using them. I was like, yeah, give them to me so that way I can actually, you know... Uh, fill in the codes and stuff like that and I actually surprisingly enough won a $5 Google Play card two of them and then once I was nearing the end and I actually uh, entered the code I got a weird email saying uh, please hold up we're seeing what you have won and I was like okay I didn't really quite understand uh, two days later I received an email saying congratulations you've won the Asus Nexus 7 2013 Google Edition tablet and I was like <laughs> that must be some kind of a joke until one week later the mailman was there he brought me a package and I had no idea what it was because I didn't order anything so I was like that's not mine and he was like but your name is on there so I was like okay I'll just accept it and then I realized that was my tablet I was so I was so happy with that, like really. It also came with a free KitKat, Chunky, and a free KitKat as well. So my day was good. I'm actually going to show you guys a picture of me winning that Nexus tablet. But um, Nexus tablet uh, 7, 2013 Google edition. So it's a little bit more slim. Um, it has Android on it. And honestly, this tablet, at the time, it, I actually won this one. was the best tablet on the market. So I was extremely happy that I got this one. And it's still... Honestly, up to the, uh, the only issues that I'm having with this tablet is that the um, that because I'm always plugging in the uh, the adapter or the cable to uh, to transfer everything to my PC. Uh, sometimes that doesn't always respond because I'm always like plugging it in and out, plugging it in and out. Because having the 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 plug in sometimes is when you, when you're recording and stuff like that, or when you're holding it, you don't want it to be connected towards any power cable at all. You just want to be using it, but awesome awesome tablet definitely recommend it um and i'm having the tablet rooted and why that is i will get back to that a little bit later let's move on to the next thing and that's actually my recording software and for my microphone i'm using audacity which is a free download downloadable program um to record my microphone audio and it works really simple all you do is press record and when you're done you press stop and then you export the file somewhere on your computer where you can find it and that's it Literally, that's it. And you can download it for free, which makes it even better. Then next up, sometimes I'm also recording my computer screen. And the software I'm using for that is Camtasia Studio 7. And Camtasia Studio 7 used to be my old editing software for my videos. I just kind of needed a little bit more than that. So I decided to move into something else, which I'll get it into a little bit later. But um, I'm still using the uh, recording computer or computer screen um uh, feature of Camtasia which just works really well so I, I just like that one quite a bit you can also use fraps or XSplit um, or anything for that matter anything will usually work anyway but I just decided to go with uh, with uh, Camtasia Studio 7 because I'm familiar with it then after that my uh, recording for my vi video gameplay for my tablet and stuff like that I actually use an application called SCR Screen Recorder Pro you can uh, purchase that one for $2 in the Google Play Store. It is not available for iOS. If you want to be using one for iOS, I would be looking at something like Reflector, which just works really well. Basically what the Reflector does is reflecting the mirror image from your tablet wirelessly to your PC or your MacBook or whatever. And that way you're actually able to record uh, from that part of Point of view so that works really well but for me android is a pest when it comes down to recording software and i tried so many things to make it work and ultimately i ended up using ser screen recorder pro because the nexus 7 is a little bit different than most devices most devices can handle different types of software but i needed to root my device if you don't know what rooting is it basically is jailbreaking and i'm also getting the question quite a lot about how you can root your 
device. Um, for every single device, it's different. So I would really recommend looking up a YouTube tutorial or a tutorial on Google on how to um, root your device. So that being said, let's move on to the last thing. Actually, there's two more things to go. My editing software. So I used to be using Camtasia 7. Right now I'm using Sony Vegas 11 Pro and uh, works really well has everything that I need basically and it's just an overall it has so much more than I'm actually using and I'm pretty sure that in the future I'm gonna be utilizing that but for now I'm doing pretty fine with it I don't need anything else um, it renders pretty fast and it has additional settings I can make pretty cool test on text on that and, I, and just in general I really like the program so I don't really see a point in changing that it is a paid software it's pretty expensive uh, you can just google it how much it costs but I'm using that one and that one just serves me well and then the last Last thing I'm, I'm using is uh, for my thumbnails. I uh, sometimes switch up between programs and I'm usually using GIMP 2 which is a free program. You can just download it for free. Just look up GIMP and you can find it and it will all be also be in the video description how it's called and uh, sometimes um, Photoshop. So for my thumbnails, thumbnails are the little images that you're seeing when you're clicking on the video. You see like, for example, for Knights and Dragons Clash of Boom, you see like a, a background and then like text on it, like explaining what the episode is, what you can expect and stuff like that. And that basically is everything that I'm having in regards of my gaming, recording, gear and software that I'm using. It will all be in the video description down below. I hope this helps you out with your most commonly asked questions. And please do me a favor. If you see that question, make sure to direct them to the video description. Because from this point on forward, once again, everything will be in the video description. It will get its own section down there. So that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the interest. I hope it helps you out as a recorder yourself. Um, you know, before we stop this episode, I just wanted to point out... This is the software or the setup that works for me. So whatever works for me might not be working for yourself. Um, you might want to be using different types of things. But uh, you just got to experiment. Like really just experiment with what works best for you. But for the microphone definitely the SO300 uh, condenser mic. That's just the best one in my honest opinion. So that being said this has been Reversal. Thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.